Hello YouTube and welcome back to What The Math. In today's video, we're continuing to take a look at Glass Lab Games. This is a beta version of a website that is trying to introduce various video games into your classroom by basically making them accessible and easy to use. Now, in the last video, we took a look at Game Over Golfer, which was the math game that basically is supposed to teach students um, the accordion planes, which is a concept that is sometimes a little bit difficult. We also tried to take a look at Slice Fractions, unfortunately it didn't work. We took a look at SimCity EDU, which was a kind of a humanities game that was uh, was a mixed bag of stuff, but I kind of like where it's going, it's just not yet ready for a classroom, but I do love SimCity, so I am hoping that they actually enable a lot of various features in it and make it re really user-friendly, because right now it's a little bit too difficult to use, but it's definitely something that will be awesome once it's established. And today we're going to be taking a look at Argument Wars. This is a, a social sciences, humanities type of a game. Um, it's for grade 6 to 10 and it's made by iCivics, which is actually another website uh, that specializes in, in these types of things. Uh, I mean games, games for education. Um, there's another one here called um, Mars Generation 1. It's, uh, it's also known as Argument Academy. Argueboat Academy EDU, uh, and this is this was actually made by Glass Lab Games, but unfortunately it's for iOS tablets, which um, even though I do have, I can't really show it to you because I do not have an ability to record the screen on iOS the way I do here on the computer. Uh, so this one you can try for yourself, there's actually, if you click on it, you'll see that it's very similar in terms of um, concepts as to, uh, you know, to similar to the other game we're about to take a look at, but here it also promotes STEM uh, content, Common Core standards, and so on. And it's actually an adventure game that has like battles and there's a storyline, and basically it's uh, it's supposed to help students develop critical thinking and various um, social science skills. But we're going to be taking a look at this one here, Argument Wars. Uh, let's cross our fingers, let's hope it all works fine, because this is still all in beta and it's still being developed. So this is social studies and it represents a Supreme Court type of a situation where you are in a court and you have to try to battle other people. All right, and this game is also a browser game, so that means that you can, you can easily, easily use this in class, even on a not so powerful laptop. Um, and it's called Argument Wars. Brown versus Board of Education. Let's get started. Instructions? Nah, who needs instructions? Um, okay, choose your lawyer. Uh, yeah, I don't like any of my choices. Can I be this lady with glasses? My character name, lady with glasses. Or glass, sure, that works. Uh, okay, uh, Brown versus Board of Education. That's probably not a good start for a a uh, court case. Anyway, court is in session. Tell me about your case. Uh, lady with glasses, your honor, I am here today because of a great injustice. By law, many black children are forced to attend different schools than white children. Oh, okay, so that's actually a pretty awesome case, and I believe it does explore real-life cases that have occurred in the U.S. Uh, this is called segregation. So this is, this is basically exploring the idea of segregation, and through a video game that is um, very similar to the law, um, uh, or court case that actually did occur in real life. So here, right now, we're just kind of reading the storyline. Let's get to the part where uh, it's an actual game, because so far it's just an introduction. And we are given um, a question here that we have to select an answer to. The constitutional issue at stake here is... All right, and this basically gives you an actual background, an actual historical background to this issue. So, yeah, which amendment is in question? I do not know. Uh, no unreasonable searches. Um, forth uh, Fourth Amendment. Fourteenth Amendment. Equity, equality under law. Or Sixth Amendment. Speedy trial, right to fair and impartial jury. Oh, very difficult question. Okay, let's do this. Um, and we get points for selecting the correct correct in my jig. Uh, okay, so yes, give me that. What? Oh, okay, so there's two arguments. Unequal treatment, let me just, yeah, there we go. Uh, school segregation for public school students does not treat black and white students equally. Separate schools are not equal now and can never be equal. Versus, uh, black students and white students will get an equal education in our district's separate segregated schools. Okay, 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 continue. I like, I like those choices. Okay, so this is now a card game. Interesting. I can draw my cards. 
And I guess we're playing against each other. These are cards in your hands. Um, if you've never played card-based games on a computer, they are quite popular with many different types of students of different ages. One of the more popular games right now is actually a game based on um, a, f a really popular online game called World of Warcraft. And that game is called Hearthstone. It's actually the most played card game online. And it's sort of similar in, um, in not a layout, but in, in design, where you basically draw cards and you play them against your opponent. Okay, I need a second, thanks. Uh, play a card that best supports your argument. School segregation prevents equal treatment under the law for black students. Excluding people, teaching each other, old case. Okay, let's try this. Uh, generally, it is white people that made the decision to send black and white children to separate schools. Studies show that this makes black students feel excluded and inferior. Fact. The key to winning your argument is to play the best support. Alright, that sounds like a, something I would play. To determine what cards are best, you need to read what they are about. Okay, that makes sense. You must decide for yourself which card to play and which to avoid. So this is actually, I'm I'm really liking this. This is actually one of the better designed games I've played uh, from a, you know, from a teacher's perspective at least. Uh, I forgot to mention, educational games that I've played. Because usually educational games are really, really bad. They're horrible. This one is, however, however, is not, not so bad. Huh, what, what just happened? Oh, here we go. I have to play it here. Ta-da! I like the dramatic music in here too. Actually makes it like a serious battle. All right, um, I'll grant that support. Uh, it helps to show that children are being treated unequally by explaining how segregation affects them. Did I win? Did I win? Did I win? I won, right? Huh? Something's happening. Oh, I guess the opponent is going to play their card now. One moment, Your Honor. In support of my ca case. Uh, okay. I'll crush you with this one. Uh, yeah, that's because that's how exactly court of law works no it doesn't but this is actually um this is pretty awesome that support is terrible <laughs> silence the support is perfectly valid supreme court has said that separate can be equal i'll certainly look at that case when i decide this one next time you interrupt you should have a better reason objection overruled okay this is getting really intense i'm i'm actually seriously getting into this game um but something's being counted Oh, there's points on top. I didn't even see the points. Okay. I only have 200 points. Oh no, I'm losing this. This guy has 300. Board of Education, I'm not gonna lose to you. Uh, Alright, teaching, teaching others. Black students' education is hurt when they are segregated because they cannot talk to and learn from white classmates. Oh, the Supreme Court said that separate by equal was okay. All of the justices who decided that cases, the case are dead now, so it shouldn't matter what they said. Okay, let's play this. Can I play this? Huh? Oh, I have to draw cards. Oh, new card. Yay. Schools need tradition. Okay. No, I want to play this. Can I, can I actually play several cards? Nope. Only one card. Oh, no, my card. <laughs> Give me back my card. Uh, okay, so I definitely am not winning this at all. I'm totally losing this game so far. Um, because I am just... No, my points! My points! Give me back my points! Alright, so I think I'm going to be losing this. I don't think I'm doing so well in this, but I am really enjoying this so far. I'm gonna do another objection. Um, oh yeah, it worked! Sweet! Give me a point! I want points. Uh, but yes, yeah, so far I'm not really winning this. Um, I do recommend you to try this in class, because this is actually... Especially if you teach in history or, you know, segregation or any of these law um, cases that are actually in the game. Although I don't really know what law cases they have except for this one. I'm sure they have more. But nevertheless, though, I do recommend trying this because this is actually one of the better ways for students to, to learn this. Um, I personally used to hate history until I started playing various video games. And um, those video games taught me more about history than any of my teachers. Any of my teachers in my life. I've learned more about historical stuff that... Okay, I like this. Let's do Let's do this. Uh, here comes a winner. Uh, yes, I, games like uh, Assassin's Creed even would teach you more about history than some of the classrooms. Because you're actually learning by doing and by experiencing it firsthand. Oh, look at all those points. I'm getting so much. 
I like it. Uh, so I have two support arguments, he only has one. Who needs togetherness? That sounds horrible. I'm going to totally object to that. I'm totally objecting to this. No, he didn't accept this. Hi, come on. You're not on my side. You're horrible. Alright, so basically this is the game in a nutshell. And I believe at the end you either lose or win this. So let's actually see how... Oh my god, he has a lot of points. How I do... I'm just... I just want to kind of finish this and see what I get at the end. Oh no, in case of Brown versus Board of Education, the court rules in favor of Board of Education. Defeat! No, no. Okay. Um, and look at that. There's also a YouTube video that provides you uh, the outcome of the decision, case overview, and everything else. Uh, all kinds of text that you can use to teach your students even more. Uh, now, I'm kind of curious as to what other cases they have in this game, because I really hope that this is not the only one. I hope there's actually more, because that's actually awesome. Like, what they've achieved here is absolutely awesome. And look at that. Yes, there is totally more cases. There's Gideon versus Wainwright. Hazelwood versus... I don't even know what these are. But there's quite a lot of... Uh, not a lot, but five? Is it five? Six. Seven. Seven different cases that you can play through and explore in either history or humanities class. And this is something that I would totally recommend for a teacher willing to experiment with games in their classroom. Now, uh, this one is definitely a winner in my book. So, all right, so that's Argument Wars from Glass Lab Games. And this has been What the Math with the review of these awesome games available for you as a teacher willing to try games in class. Thank you for watching and in the next video we're going to take a look at some more video games that you can use in your classroom. Game you later, alligators, and bye-bye.